Hello, everybody, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. I am Ellie Cobb, Director of Family Ministries here at St. John's United Methodist Church, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. Today is Thursday, January 11th, 2024, and this is our point midday where we get to pause together as a community of faith and share in the Upper Room Daily Devotional, share in some prayer, scripture, and reflection. So if you're joining me now live or a little bit later on in the day, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment below, we always like to know who stopped by. Hope everybody is having a good start to their chilly Thursday. Bad news, it's only going to get colder from here, folks. <laughs> Today we'll be in the book of Colossians, so if anybody wants to follow along, you are more than welcome to do so. Um, if not, feel free just to listen along, but we will be in the book of Colossians. Added prayers today for parents of school-aged children everywhere. <laughs> My kiddos had two weeks off from, this has nothing to do with today's devotional. This is just my morning. We had two weeks off for Christmas break. Kids went back Thursday, Friday of last week. Thank goodness it was time. They went to school Monday, had Tuesday, Wednesday off, went back to school today. Looks like there's probably not going to be school Friday, and Monday's Martin Luther King Day, so they're going to have like a four-day weekend, and then back at it at school. So like these poor kids are just, I don't know if they're on break or not right now. Um, my son was good to go this morning. My daughter was not okay with going to school this morning, so just prayers for parents everywhere. It is rough. <laughs> It is rough this time of year, just trying to establish some sort of like a norm and a routine. But, you know, I can't complain too much because we get extra time together in our nice warm house. <laughs> good morning, Linda. Good to see you. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Parv and Chris Mueller. And good morning, Bill. Glad that you are here today as well. It's going to be a cold one this weekend, folks, so stay safe. Give everybody another minute or two to hop on, and then we will begin, but once again, in the book of Colossians. I don't know if anybody has pets or not, but our two Goldens absolutely love the snow. They've been, like, signaling to, like, go out, like, every half hour, and it's like, I know you guys are just fibbing. I know you just want to play in the snow. <laughs> I do not want to play in the snow. Okay, let us begin to our daily devotional time together. Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 17 <clears throat> and I will be reading out of the New Revised Standard Version updated edition. This is our scripture for today. Therefore as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe, your, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a compliment against another, has a complaint against another, Forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, to which indeed you are called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Treat and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And our focus verse from today is Ephesians 4, 31-32, the NRSVU, which reads, Put away all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander, together with all malice. Be kind to one another tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ has forgiven you. And our thought for today is it doesn't cost anything to be nice. And our um, devotion today comes from Arlene of Kansas. And these are the thoughts that she is sharing with us today. Love one another. My day started with hurt and irritation from a friend's critical remarks. While I ran errands, my anger grew, and I developed and I began to develop a grudge. The grocery store parking lot was full, but I spotted an open space one lane over. I sped up, rounded the corner to grab it, but then saw a car approaching with its blinker flashing. 
I scrolled as I waited for other drivers to park. But to my surprise, the man stopped and waved me into the parking spot. I was grateful but unmoved by the gesture. I raced through the store and found myself behind the same man in the checkout lane. He turned, smiled, and began emptying my cart for me while I while the cashier scanned his items. I stood amazed. I returned the smile and thanked him for both good deeds. He shrugged and said, It doesn't cost anything to be nice. I cringed and felt my face go red as I remembered Jesus' command. Just as I have loved you, you should love one another. I realized I was angry over something trivial, and a sudden rush of gratitude swept over me. I am thankful for the man whose act of kindness had an impact, who had impacted my attitude. And our prayer focus for today is someone harboring a grudge. We've all held grudges before. People are human. Humans do human things. We get upset um, at our humanness, I guess. Um, sometimes it's intentional. Sometimes it's merely unintentional. Um, but people hurt people. It's happened to all of us. We've all been hurt. We have all hurt others. Um, that is part of life. Um, and the holding of a grudge, it can start to eat away at you. It really can because it's kind of like that bad seed that gets sowed within you and it taints you and everything. Instead of rose colored glasses, I don't know what the opposite of rose colored glasses are, but it does. It just kind of begins to taint you and to taint your look and the feeling of the world. And we've all been there. It happens to the best of us. Um, but that thought of it doesn't cost anything to be nice. Um, this was eight, nine years ago, had something occur and everything, what it was does not matter anymore. Cause like I said, eight, nine years ago and it just festered within me and I was just so grumpy and mean and agitated about it and I'd shared with Travis you know it and everything and of course him being the good husband you know said I was justified and everything um but then it kind of came down to the fact and I just finally stopped and I was like you know five years from now it will not matter and you know what it's been more than five years and it truly did not matter um was it hard to be nice absolutely Sometimes that does not come easy and natural to us. Um, but in the end of the day, it is the right choice to choose kindness, to choose grace. Um, we would want other people to do the same for us. And, you know, good deeds are contagious and everything. And you never know what your good deed for that day might be rubbing off on somebody who needed that little bit of happiness and goodness. Um, sometimes it can just be a wave into traffic, um, as our author today said, you know, giving up a parking space or helping somebody unload their cart. Sometimes it's just merely a smile and just a hope your day's going well. Um, if you ever see a mom or a dad in the grocery store wrangling little kiddos and everything, just, you know, say you're doing a great job. That goes such a long ways. Oh my goodness. Um, don't tell them that they're going to miss it. <laughs> That falls under the line of, you know, you're, you think you're being helpful, but it's really not. It's like when you're in the thick of it, it's like, of course, I'm not going to miss this. <laughs> um, but just being encouraging and saying, you know, I think you're doing a great job in everything. Um, it can go a long way. So just what are those just little nicety things that we can do um, each and every day? Um, I know my day started off, as I mentioned, you know, my daughter being grumpy and not wanting to go to school and that translated into her not wanting to get out of the car. Sweet, sweet child did not want to get out of the car. And one of the teachers, um, and I think I've shared a little bit about her before, who is just the kindest, sweetest, best soul and everything, you know, peeked her head into the car and she was like, Emery, will you do me a favor? will you help me get out of this cold? <laughs> because she was having to stand in the car early. She's like, can I walk you to class? Can that like, can that get me out of the cold? Can you help me out? And my sweet child who was, you know, just grumpy and prickly and everything just immediately, you know, kind of perked up and everything. She was like, yeah, I can help. And that was just an example of, you know, 
it cost that teacher nothing to be nice and kind, and it started my daughter's day off on the right foot, and hey, she got out of the cold for, you know, five, ten minutes and everything. So just be nice. And in the words of Taylor Swift, um, because Jim is about to start his uh, series of the gospel according to Taylor Swift, shake it off. <laughs> um, it's hard to shake it off, though, in all seriousness, though. Um, there is a time and a place to, you know, have that hurt and mourn and everything, but don't let it eat away at you, I guess is the moral of today's story and everything. Choose to choose kindness, choose to illuminate that goodness. So let us pray. Dear Lord, help us to focus on being kind when things don't go our way. May we always remember to love one another no matter the circumstances. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, good morning, Barbara. Thank you for joining us. Hope everybody has a great rest of their Thursday. Um, I'll see you back on here a little bit later on in the week. I'll be on Saturday, um, but you'll see Jim again tomorrow. Take such good care and stay warm. Bye-bye.